in the lands beyond the sea countless million children be who have never heard the gospel story told little ones for whom the Christ died and bought them hello friends welcome to our program my name is Colleen and I hope today we're gonna have lots and lots of fun but before we start with our program let us all stand up close our eyes fold our arms and say a little prayer dear Lord Jesus we thank you very much for loving us protecting us all the time we thank you for being our best friend when we need you the most we ask for your guidance as we are about to do a program and get to know about you more bless all the little children all around the world Amen. Okay, kiddos. So what we're going to do now, we're going to do our moto. Can I show you first? Let's do our moto. I'm going to show you first. And then the second time, we can do it all together. So we say one child, one Bible. One Bible, one child. Reach a child, reach the world reach the world reach a child good so now we're going to do it all together okay so we're going to do it together so we say one child one bible one bible one child reach a child reach the world reach the world reach a child well done you did it very well so our theme for this week says anywhere with Jesus and now I want to do something special for you okay so what we're gonna do now we will have a plate and then we will have milk you can do this with mom and dad at home it is safe but please wear your aprons so that you don't mess your beautiful dresses and your t-shirts okay and then we're gonna need food coloring color blue and then color green and then we've got it we're gonna need color red as well and color yellow okay color yellow then we're gonna have our dishwasher you see the soap we're gonna need that and lastly we're gonna need our earbud okay so what we will do now we will pour our milk into the plate like that okay just make sure that it is enough make sure it's enough there we go so this milk you see it is white and pure it represents the world so when God created the world it was nice and pure it was clean and no one had sin and it was just pure and clean no sin and then Adam and Eve started to sin oopsie can you see when we sin, everything that is pure can be messed up. A little bit there, another drop. And people started to sin more. And sinned more. So you see, it's a little bit messy. The world people started to spread the sin all around the world all around the world and it messed God's beautiful world that he created for us you see there but now God had a plan just because God loves us he sent his only son Jesus to die for our sins and wash our sins away so what we will do we will put a bit, little bit of liquid soap on a clean earbud and then we put it on the center of the plate look what Jesus does look what Jesus does he came to earth 
and he washed our sins away. You see there, you see there, it is exactly like what Jesus did when he came into this earth. So remember that Jesus came to this earth and died for our sins on Calvary and washed all away our sins because he loved us very, very much. And that is why it is very important that we tell all our friends and tell everyone about the love of Jesus, that Jesus loves us very, very much. And he's always our best friend when we need him the most. It's also important that you can invite your friends and do that little experiment and show them about the love of Jesus. Goodbye, friends. My name is Misha Adam. I worship from Walmart Church. My class is primary and today our verse will come from the last book of the Bible called Revelation chapter 14 verse 6 to 7. But today I'm going to talk about the first angel. It says, when I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach to those who dwell on the earth and to every nation, tribe, tongue, and people saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to him. For the hour of his judgment has come and worship God, worship him who made he heaven and earth, the sea and springs of heaven. May the good Lord bless all of you. Amen. I greet you all in the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. Jesus calms the water. Matthew 8 verse 23 to 27. Jesus was a wonderful storyteller, a kind healer, an amazing teacher. Jesus also had power over the water, the waves, and the winds. One day, Jesus and his followers got into the boat, go to another town. The boat rocked side by side, up and down. The waves were so big, they swept over the boat, one, after another. Jesus' followers were terrified. They did all they could do to hang on and hang in, but their strength was getting weak. Worse than that, their fears were getting stronger. Soon, they started panicking, thinking they were going to drown. Was Jesus afraid? No, not at all. In fact, he was peacefully asleep. Jesus' followers woke Jesus up. Lord, Lord, help us to drown. Why are you all shaking with fear? Trust in God with all your heart and all your might. Then he got up and told his followers and told the water and the waves to calm down and they obeyed. Jesus' followers are shocked. What kind of dead man is this? He is the one who saved Daniel from the lion's den in Daniel chapter 6 verse 22. The one who healed a man with demons in Matthew chapter 28 verse 28 to 34. So, my dear friends, trust in God with all your heart and all your might. If he was able to be with Shadrach, Meshach and Abednik in that burning furnace, he's also going to be able to be with us during this coronavirus. Like he said, Bizam Nanga Minyan Bandazel, the Kutlang Wule, Uzawena Undizukis. Bye! May God bless you all! I am eight years old and I stay in Sunstra. Jesus is with us. He will help us. He will lift us up with his hand. He is our refuge, our strength. He is our present help in trouble. The, he goes before us. His love extends to all of us. Nothing can separate us from him. Hello, my name is Asif. watching the news. It was so depressing. I'm not able to walk alone to school. Fear is something we all battle our whole lives. It doesn't matter whether you're a father or a mother or even a child. It hits
hits us all and we find ourselves scrambling for cover. John 3, John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave up his one and only begotten Son, so that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Anywhere with Jesus, I can safely go. Anywhere with Jesus, who can safely go. Jesus can protect us, can calm our fears. Everything is easy when Jesus is with us. Did you see that? How easy it was to tear that paper. That is how easy it is when you are with Jesus. He overcomes our fears. But without Jesus, things are so difficult. We cannot get through. Do you see? We just cannot tear this paper. Which means if we don't have Jesus in our lives, Jesus cannot protect us. Things will be difficult. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41 verse 10. My name is Singala Kamashatini. I'm 13 years old and I stay in Summer Street. Jesus knew that we would be running around and freaking out a good majority of our lives. He tells us what to do instead. He has provided a way to walk this life with peace of mind and calmness in our hearts. Thank you. As God has given us his one and only begotten son, because he loved us, he loves us, in whatever way we go through, in whatever things we get through, with however difficult things are, he is our refugee. He is our strength and he will help us. In Jesus' name, God bless you. The lands beyond the sea, countless million children be, who have never heard the gospel story told. Little ones for whom the Christ died and bought them with a price, waiting to be gathered in the Savior's fold. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the